Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 6, 2021. How is your June so far? Comment down below. <laughs> mm. We were just talking about food yesterday and today we are learning about toxins in our food. Now, this is not for the food demons out there who just go around so that you feel important. You're scaring everybody else about food. You know who you are. And I just called you out. Okay. But <laughs> this is talking about understanding how your, your being processes food. Okay. And why would that matter? It matters a lot. Yes. Your hormonal balance and everything is, a, is everything. Okay. <laughs> right? So we have to be uh, mindful about what we're putting into our bodies. I have... Um, come up on that too for years and years I'm talking decades I've had thyroid um, symptoms and if any of you out there have dealt with that you know that you can go get all the blood work in the world ask for a full thyroid panel and it can still come back just fine but you still have the symptoms and then the older I'm getting the worse it's getting and I oh man it has set me straight it has set me straight and I'm going okay it's time to really maybe cut out the gluten. It's really time to, I mean, I've always been pretty good at getting organic things and stuff like that. And like, I started thinking like, I got to incorporate more fish into my diet. I don't like fish. I'm allergic to shellfish. Can't do seafood in that way, but I guess fish, blah, blah, blah. whatever. It's going to be a sacrifice. It feels like a sacrifice to me. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, those are the things that I'm doing. I'm like, I got to make changes here. I got to give my body whatever will lift it back up again. Okay. This is imperative from an intuitive standpoint. This is why you hear people say that they go vegan, vegetarian, and what have you, um, you know, to raise your frequency. So we do have to be um, creating a pure vessel so that our intuition can work at an optimal uh, place, right? So whatever messaging you get around food, I have to be careful. I sometimes get into these like channel messages and I forget to pull the card. I'm gonna get, get us a card, okay, I swear. <laughs> but we have to really be mindful of what we're putting into our bodies without going down. Remember guys, everyone, we're still in a world that likes to make money. So if one side is gonna demonize a type of food, okay, that's to pump up people who are providing the opposite of that. Do you see what I'm saying? So like, let, let me, I, that made no sense. Let me break that down. So if someone's like, oh my gosh, dairy is the worst. Dairy is the worst. Dairy is the worst. Okay. Um, well, then who benefits from that? People who make coconut milk, <laughs> right? So they're going to have, you know, an agenda to really demonize dairy so that they pump it up. There was a whole story around coconut oil for years and years. There was some like, I don't know, like business fight. I don't remember what the whole story was, but uh, someone was going to benefit from coconut oil being demonized so you know so that they could benefit from whatever they were producing so that kind of stuff is always going on even when someone's trying to be like all spiritual and all that stuff so just be just be mindful of that all right scarlet it attracts success the number is seven what this is talking about is we were just talking about you know amping up your health um so a lot of you will have success in finding a health routine that will work for you. It may not be the thing that works for your spouse or your mother or your sister or your brother or your neighbor or whatever. You love the people who they find they found their sweet spot with their eating and their exercise. They're like, it works for me, so you should do it. You should try it because and you have a completely different body type. You have a completely different uh hormonal balance than they do. You know, all this kind of stuff. So there's that message. But we're also being guided by our angels to stop self-sabotaging, stop thinking that we don't deserve, um, to start really going down the path that makes us happy. How about that? So, you know, there have been all these messages about we don't have to live in darkness anymore. We don't have to give in to people's agendas. We don't have to, um, you know, just choose careers because someone says it's what we're supposed to do you know kind of thing so you're going to get your clarity today you're going to figure out what direction to go in and it's really going to be a positive thing for your life it does not mean that there will not be things going on out in the world every time i put a positive message out there if something happens in the world and it does people have to comment oh but this bad thing happened let's stop doing that okay we need to be on duty here and that means taking care of ourselves and keeping 
you know, keeping watch about what's going on, of course, not pretending like it's not there, but let's stop purposely trying to bring each other down. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.